The Lost Art of the Philippines Being an archipelagic country consisting of more than 7,600 islands, the Philippines has a history of colorful and diverse cultures, languages, and traditions. And as a result, Filipinos have developed various art forms over the years. Another technique associated with kut, kut is encaustic painting, also known as hot wax painting, which utilizes pigmented heated wax. The third technique correlated to kut, kut is layering. As the name implies, it involves painting over dried layers of paint or medium. All these techniques come together to create a unique and detailed art form that gives the illusion of a three-dimensional space and multi-layered textures. Art techniques in Kut Kut is graffito, an art technique that can be dated back to the Italian Renaissance. It is derived from graffiar, an Italian word that means to scratch. This graffito technique involves scratching off a top layer to reveal a bottom layer of different color underneath. Another term you may have heard of that relates to graffito is simply scratch art. Graffito is an Italian word that means to scratch, which is what the painting technique is all about. There are different ways on how you can maximize this technique, especially if you're using oil paints and acrylic paints. To achieve most of this technique, an artist needs to expose themselves to different ways and colors to see the dynamic beauty of this painting technique. You can actually use any type of object that you can scratch the paint on your painting surface to start with. There are a lot of artists who use the other end of their paintbrush to use for this graffito painting technique. The origins of graffito can be traced back all the way to ancient times, originating from Asia in the form of pottery. It was also used during classical times in Europe as wall decor and was later popularized during the Italian Renaissance in the 15th and 16th centuries and is very common in housing facades. Kut Kut is not the only type of art that we can see in the Philippines. Since the Philippines is a country with a diverse construct in ethnicity, culture, traditions, and more, the Philippines is a multicultural hub filled with variations of art that were influenced by various factors like foreign influences that resulted from colonialism and more. As time passes, human assimilation will broaden, leading to a new era of art that will consist of new variations and developments in art that will make the forms of art to be susceptible to alterations or worse. The importance of art in one's origin marks the evolution of human assimilation and expertise in creativity and skills. These arts are valuable since they are linked to the identity of the Filipino people. That is why movement in preserving and protecting the art of the Philippines is needed for the newer generations to have a glimpse of the colorful past of the Philippines. In a way for them to be able to understand and appreciate the diversity of art as a way of patronizing their country and regions. That can be achieved by putting efforts into promoting local artists, patronage of our local produced crafts, and the widespread of local arts through museums, books, online forums, and more.